Hello, Internet. It is me, the E-Man, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, so last time, the entire episode basically consisted of us reading the poems. Uh, that took a surprisingly long amount of time. But we are back now, so let us see what happens after the poem reading. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned for today. So if everyone could come sit in the front of the room... Okay, sorry about the cut. You probably couldn't tell anyway, but I uh, ran out of water, so I had to go get more. Anyway. <clears throat> Is this about the festival? That's not her voice at all. Is this about the festival? That's still not her voice, but whatever. Well, sort of. Ah! Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last-minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Siori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's... that's great and all. But that doesn't let us... that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to do for the event! Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. What? You can't just throw this at us last minute, Manika. What kind of president are you? People people get freaking impeached for this crap. Perf performing? P uh, um, Manika? Yeah, we're going to have a poetry performance. Oh, God. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems, too. Sayori's putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Manika? You didn't you didn't already start putting these posters up, did you? Yeah. Well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up. I I didn't sign up for this. I, <laughs> you know? There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I, I agree with Nusaki, Net, Net, Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Boys? No, Siori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. I'm so... I'm sorry. Ellipses of... Uh, but... I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Literature's not about poems, okay? That's a part of it, but literature is so much more than just poems. Seriously, write short stories or something. It's either have a literature club that does a lot of stuff or have a dedicated poetry club. God. Yeah! It's about expressing our feelings! Being intimate with yourself! <laughs> <clears throat> Finding new horizons! And having fun! That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. I mean, I'm just here for the breasts, honestly, but that's another story. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you in here in the first place. I know I do. I know we all do. Stop projecting onto us, Manika. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know we can do it. The ellipses of... Nah. The ellipses of... Oh god, please, 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 no, please, no. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Siori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. 
Yeah, I don't think it's too much to ask. Yeah, I think that Siori and Minika have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Nah. It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Nah. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get over it with... <clears throat> I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right! Yep, oh, clicked off the screen. Huh, phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? You, uh, you ellipses. Yuri dejectively glances around at everyone else's fa express <coughs> expectant faces. <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Ah, that's everyone. Yeah, we forced our friends to do something they're not comfortable with. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. Uh, doesn't that just sound like... No, no, no way! Monika! This is... This is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? I don't expect to do it in front of strangers, Monika. Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Yeah, you're the popular girl. Of course you're not going to have problems with this crap. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now, let's see. Minika flips through her notebook to a specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Minika begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly what, how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Maybe it is like magic. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? Maybe it's Maybelline. I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Manika. Siori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Manika finishes the <laughs> Oh, come on. Come on. I know this. Come on. Hang on. One second. Recitation? That's not right at all. That doesn't sound right. It's reciting. It, it's, the, it's the shun version of reciting. <sighs> Whatever. You know what I mean. The four of us applaud. <laughs> Manika takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monika! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example and also show off because, obviously. Are you ready to go next, Siori? Uh, uh, I'll go next. Oh, what? Uh? Yuri's fired up all of a sudden! Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It's... It's called Aftermath... After... After Image of a Crimson Eye. That sounds like something from Resident Evil. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into a sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. This girl is on fire! The poem is full of twists and turns, and in, in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. Come on, I can pronounce enunciates, but I can't... Ah, whatever. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Were her eyes always... Pur yeah, her eyes were always purple. Okay, whatever. And purple eyes, that's totally normal. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around as if she bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. Situation saving, Ranger! The second time, <clears throat> I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins in me. Everyone joins me. Everyone joins me afterwards, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. 
It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Oh, ah, that was the ellipses. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Oh, I sort of skipped some... I don't know. I don't think I skipped anything too important. Okay. I guess I'm next then. Siori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. Ah. Ha, ha, ha. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Siori. That's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah. Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. Ah, I see, I see. Uh, okay then. Siori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Siori is. It's serene and bittersweet and bipolar. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Siori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Siori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. And through. Siori finishes and we applaud. Ow. Oh, ah, ah. I don't know how I hurt myself clapping, but I did. Ah. God, I hit... Ugh. Anyway. I did it! Good job, Siori. Ah, even Joshua liked it. And he's impossible to please. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Siori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Uh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, uh, depending on what you're reading. Oh, oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> oh, okay, I got ahead of myself. <laughs> then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. I'm going to make this harder for you as much as I can. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Netsuki? Harumph. Don't make me go before Joshua. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Joshua lower. <laughs> Might as well let Joshua lower everyone's standards a little bit before I have to do it. You're yeah, all oh, savage. Dude. Natsuki, I know you're probably like my least compatible one at this point in the game, but damn. The feels, man. Oh, that hurt. Natsuki. It, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. I'm used to girls hating me, it's okay. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, considering it is only just randomly 20 words, uh, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finished, I received applause anyway. That's my applause, it's not as much as theirs. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it as much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about the lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. Dumbass. Harumph! Anyway, the poem is called Jump. And it's what I want to do out of this window. Natsuki takes a breath. 
Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. Did I? Okay. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? <clears throat> oh my, that was much louder than I expected. My apologies. <clears throat> Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. <laughs> uh, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends... It's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. Ooh. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so Well, I guess in that well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that we all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem to get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poems to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. Yeah, because you suck, Joshua. Now, I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. Huh. <laughs> it makes me really happy, so I lean forward. Uh, yeah, no, no, no problem. Okay, everyone, I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday is the big day. I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Siori and Monika. But I'll do my best to get through it. You know, with my limited effort attitude. It's for the sake of the club. And impressing Monika. Is Monika still my ultimate goal? Because I really don't care, honestly. I would take any of the other three over Monika at this point. I mean, she does have the ability to break the fourth wall, though. That is pretty cool, I will admit. Uh, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Siori? Oh, wait, this is me. She popped up. It confused me. Ready to go, Siori? Yep! Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make it such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well... Uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Joshua. You don't have to say it. W whatever, let's just go already. Oh, no, I don't want... I don't... I, I, Yuri has already expressed jealousy t towards uh, Sayori. I don't want them to fight or have anything bad happen to Sayori. It's just because we literally live across the street from each other. It's all... I swear! I swear! It's platonic! I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Siori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Siori. Are you ellipses of recognition? Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Huh? I was thinking about something from earlier. Oh, wait. I like how we get to... I mean... Siori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day Yuri asks... To walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is an actual choice, and it's too early in the episode to end it on a choice, because that's what I normally do. Ooh, a big stretch. Um. Oh no. Hey, remember, uh, remember her tip of the day? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Return. Um, well, I would walk home with Yuri, I guess. 
Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does that thought make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she just so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. Haha, <laughs> you admitted it! Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know. Need you? That's a dark thing to say, Siori. Jesus. Siori. I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Oh, well, sorry. Everyone is so... Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so. The conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. Oh, man. I feel really bad about that. Ah. Oh, I kind of... I kind of wish I had taken Siori's path, but at the same time, I'm happy that I'm on Yuri's. I don't know. Whatever. Definitely, this will need multiple playthroughs. Uh, probably won't make videos on them, but for myself. Anyway. <clears throat> But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. Man, you always put the blame on Siori, dude. Jesus. <sighs> I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival's only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Oh, and here we go. Let's write a poem, everybody. Gotta get them... Gotta get them Yuri points. These are the same ones, right? Okay, um... I'm just curious if empty is gonna be Siori. Yep, that's not a good sign. Uh, climax? Yep. Okay. Together, promise, bouncy, play, uncanny, vicious? Yep. Um, infinite imagination? Yep. Um, massacre. Uh, incongruent. That was a guess. Inferno, Crimson, Cry. Alright, I want to get, I want to at least get Yuri to be the sec, uh, not Yuri. I want to get Siori to be the second one. Uh, unrequented. Oh, is it because, it's because her affections for me are unrequented? Whatever. Um, philosophy. Existence. I'm getting nothing for the other one. Hopeless. Tragedy. I don't even... <laughs> didn't even try to pronounce that one. Disarray. Daydream. Koi! Okay, yeah. She's the... the, the she's like the, the legitimate cute one. Okay, agonizing. Embrace. This for... Shoot. Okay, can't get too ahead of myself. Um, anxiety. Okay, so she has anxiety. Um, adventure, romance. Okay, I think that was more Yuri. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Are you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well... Maybe not determination, but I guess passion. You remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's going to be so great. Eh? Huh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a little bit like Siori all of a sudden. Manika, do they usually have fried squid? Oh, I love fried squid. Calamari? Mmm, that's this great. Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Now, oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people! Yeah, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon Ika. Yeah, oh, like Mon, Mon Calamari, I guess. Okay. Eh. 
That's not how you say. That's not how you say my name at all. That's literally how I've been saying it this entire time. <laughs> Even the game tells me I'm wrong. That's beautiful. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Okay, they just admitted translation. Yeah, it's because Mon. I guess that's that's the squid part. I'm assuming from Mon Calamari. What? Ah, never mind. Oh, is Natsuki just not Natsuki? Is Monika aware that we're in a video game? Is that going to be like one of the twists at the end? That would be a little bit lame, I think. Maybe I don't know how I'd feel about that. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Siori's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Siori anyway? Oh, there you are. Siori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Siori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Huh? You're spacing out again? Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Uh, huh. Is everything all right? No, no. Dude, everything is not all right, dude. Oh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Look at my giant smile. Siri shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right. No, no, dude, no, not if you say so. Dude, dude, what are you doing, man? No, fine does not mean fine. Everyone knows this. God, man, Game Josh was an idiot. <sighs> no, I worriedly glance off before turning my back toward everyone. You fool, dude. Ah, oh, she's obviously in emotional distress. But the conversation has already disappeared with everyone back to their usual activities. See, you, you don't even have anything to go back to. You, ugh, moron. Maybe I should ask Monika if she's noticed anything about Siori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monika, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Joshua, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Siori recently? I'm sorry, there's a weird noise in my house. Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you you think so? Yeah, I can't say I've noticed anything about it. Oh, it's someone's vacuuming, I guess. I hope that's not getting picked up by the mic. I don't know, this mic seems to have a pretty decent range, not picking up background noise, so hopefully. <clears throat> Minika, Minika peers across the room at Siori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking... I'm, But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Joshua. Excuse me again. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she has... She was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything. I'll, I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her to myself. Yeah, are, you, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. With the person of interest person of interest what do you mean by that yeah i'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you joshua don't don't do this this is gonna make me resent trying to help her this is a bad idea manika oh <sighs> god me how on earth would you come to that conclusion lady well i probably shouldn't say too much but siori talks about you more than anything else you know huh She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Siori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it has always been. Oh, it's because she's just like that around me, and I don't see her on her own. 
bent over. Yeah, I'm assuming Siori is probably the good path, right? Probably. And I'm on the Vixen path because Yuri has bigger breasts. Is that it? Did I did I guess it right? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out in a couple episodes. You're so funny, Joshua. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as... You've always seen her as so cheerful because that's just how she is when she's around you. Yeah, that's what I just said. Ellipses of, oh god, what have I done? Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, uh, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. Yeah, I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, alright. Minika smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Minika stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Siori is sitting. Did I pick more words with Siori? I kind of hope not, because I don't want to mess up my path at this point. I watch her kneel down to Siori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Siori told me not to worry about her, but I have fun, but, and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much, uh, do I care about her? Wait, exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh down on me so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Manika. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, a wild Yuri approaches! <laughs> I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. Uh, it's been going on for a little over half an hour. Um, this is probably, this is a random spot to stop. But, uh, this is where we're gonna stop. So, Siri's having mental health issues. This is not okay. Um, this is, I don't know how, this is not good. Um, yeah. So, thank you for watching, if you're still watching. We're starting to get into the juicy bits now, I think. It's only taken six whole gosh darn episodes. But if you're still with the series, I thank you very much for watching. And, uh, we will see what Yuri has to say to us on the next episode. Hopefully she's not jealous of me giving attention to Siori because she has a mental illness. That would be awful. Uh, but anyway, we'll find out. Goodbye! Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, you can click one of the links currently up on the screen, and if you want to see my newest content as soon as it's released, you can always subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again on the next episode real soon. Goodbye.